operation. But that's going to be especially important now, uh, given the, uh, the essential fact here, Robert, which is that while we've all seen this uh, as an attack on America, it's also an attack on the rest of the world. The consequences of what's happened today are going to be devastating for the international economy. Uh, unless we can all gather together and put this uh, into some kind of perspective and, so, and bring it under control. And that can only be done through multilateral international action led by the United States. Uh, there's been much talk of suspicions that Osama bin Laden is behind all this. Uh, if, if he isn't, who else might be? Who's capable of doing such well, a thing? Well, he obviously belongs high on the list of uh, suspects for all sorts of reasons. And I, I can only speak here on the basis of what's been in the, in the public eye today, which has been horrifying. It looks as though the degree of coordination here uh, has to have something more than a non-governmental or uh, individual uh, actor or group behind it. Uh, but that's just uh, a, a judgment that you, we, uh, so many of us feel in our gut watching it. We can't rule anything out. Uh, we certainly have to take account of the possibility that there are mm -hmm. states, that is, that the, that the fault for this lies in national capitals as well as with terrorist organizations. Strobe uh, Talbot, thank you very much for talking with us. Strobe Talbot, who is Dec uh, Deputy Secretary of State in the Clinton administration and is now Director of the Center for the Study of Globalization at Yale University in New Haven. We'll be back in a moment with more special coverage of today's attacks on New York and Washington, D.C. listening to KUAZ Tucson, 1550 AM, and KUAZ FM Tucson, 89.1. It's 530. From NPR. Our news. This is special coverage of today's tragic events in New York City and here in Washington, D.C. I'm Noah Adams with colleagues Linda Wertheimer in Washington, Robert Siegel in New York. President Bush is expected to address the nation in about a minute. Earlier today, President Bush said, freedom has been attacked, freedom will be defended. NPR's White House correspondent Don Gagne is here as well. Don, do you expect the president to talk about some kind of response? Uh, we expect him to talk about uh, the fact that there will be a response and that the U.S. is committed and confident that it will find who is responsible and uh, that, that there will be a response. But in terms of a specific response, they're, they're still assessing the intelligence information they're receiving at this point. We'll go immediately to the president as soon as he begins to speak. But first of all, could you tell us where he's been uh, today? He has been uh, in uh, Florida. He started his day, went to an air base in Louisiana, uh, all as part of a precautionary move. He ended up in uh, Nebraska outside Omaha at the Strategic uh, Air Command before uh, this evening, 7 o'clock, uh, coming back to the White House, uh, landing on the South Lawn and preparing for these remarks tonight. The President will be speaking from the White House. Uh, has Don... Uh, here is the President.
Good evening. Today, our fellow citizens, our way of life, our very freedom came under attack in a series of deliberate and deadly terrorist acts. The victims were in airplanes or in their offices, secretaries, businessmen and women, military and federal workers, moms and dads, friends and neighbors. Thousands of lives were suddenly ended by evil, despicable acts of terror. The pictures of airplanes flying into buildings, fires burning, huge, huge structures collapsing, have filled us with disbelief, terrible sadness, and a quiet, unyielding anger. These acts of mass murder were intended to frighten our nation into chaos and retreat, but they have failed. Our country is strong. A great people has been moved to defend a great nation. Terrorist attacks can shake the foundations of our biggest buildings, but they cannot touch the foundation of America. These acts shatter steel, but they cannot dent the steel of American resolve. America was targeted for attack because we're the brightest beacon for freedom and opportunity in the world, and no one will keep that light from shining. Today, our nation saw evil, the very worst of human nature, and we responded with the best of America, with the daring of our rescue workers, with the caring of, for strangers and neighbors who came to give blood and help in any way they could. Immediately following the first attack, I implemented our government's emergency response plans. Our military is powerful and it's prepared.